Hey everybody, welcome back to Heart Talks. Well, there's no need to introduce this lady, although I will, but you all know who she is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Heart Talks, Miss Angie Brown! Yay! I'm to be clapping myself. That's <laughs> Can I just congratulate you to get the light right with the dark skin thing? See? Yeah, because you know, I know if you what don't I'm doing. get the light right, yep. you got dark skin, sweetie, you just pale. I lose you. Into, yeah. Exactly. I'm sorry, those old jokes about, <laughs> the, about the teeth and eyes, but I, really, that, that's a great light. Thank good, you. Good, good. Well, Angie, it's wonderful to have you here. Oh, it so really, nice. really is. It's just, it's such an honour for me to have you here. Um, oh, it's a beautiful apartment. Thank you. So nice. It just shows you. all of all of the the relics of the West End that you're into and all, the showbiz. All, all my all my showbiz memories. It's wonderful. All over the wonderful. walls. Wonderful. Andy, how are you? I'm good. good. I I am good. But like everybody else, I have good days and bad days, and I'm not very good at um, at lying. I do wear my heart on my sleeve, and I think people know that. Mm -hmm. People know. That, you know, that's what I'm about. Yeah. I lost my mum a year and a half ago. So this is my second Christmas coming right. up without her. And I felt a little bit tearful this morning. But I just think um, also with the COVID going on and the fact that I haven't, well, everyone in the industry hasn't worked properly oh. since maybe the maybe March. March uh, time, my, yeah. my last gig was the last last week in February yeah, yeah. and I did a rave up in Manchester. I love my oh, I love my manky people and I did a, a rave and it was it was lucky you know I had that vibe of lockdown then because everyone was using a hand pump so that you like thousands of people trying to use the hand pumps and yeah. you know we, we weren't wearing the mask but it, it was all getting in the wheels were in motion Starting. and it was and it was you know you had to kind of like say goodbye because you knew that was the last gig and it kind of yeah, it does your head in a little yeah. bit, really, because it, it's, you know, I live for it. I live for, you know, the music, the people, the, the, the whole the DJing, do, the it? club yeah. industry. Yeah. Yeah. I, it is so in my DNA now yeah. after doing it 30 years. Yeah, 30 years. 30 years. Can I know, because I'm 50, <laughs> 57 now. Well, do you know, Angie, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna disclose your, your age online, but you are looking good, girl. Yeah, yeah, but she put, don't crack, hair, she put her best hair on today. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, well, you know, black yeah. don't crack, innit? I, but yeah. And all of that, as I but, say, black don't crack and all that. But it just, it, come on, you know, I'm, you live, you see, it lives in Brixton, right? I grew up in Brixton mm -hmm. and I would go to Stockwell Primary School and my face would be really shiny when my mum's put the Vaseline. Come on! Put that little thing on your light. And you, and, uh, and, uh, you don't really see them so much these days, but um, there would be loads of green flying. <laughs> loads, loads of Stuck to your face. Stuck to the Vaseline. <laughs> yeah, I just, I think that you've got to live good. Mm -hmm. I think, or, or, you know, naturally, my skin's quite greasy because, and, and, and anybody that's seen me do a gig, you know that. <laughs> it pours off. And you can't help that because you're you're singing full voice yeah. and you're using all you're of this, it and it's very physical. Everything, mm -hmm. like we were talking about acting, everybody is working really yeah. hard because yeah. it's a very it's a very physical thing. So and it's the same with singing. If you're performing, you're putting out energy. But even if I'm uh, DJing, um, uh, you know, mentally, psychologically, there's mm -hmm. there's a process that you're going through, and then when you do it. And you're channeling because mm -hmm. you're getting that energy mm -hmm. from you know your guides or whatever you believe yeah, in that's making yeah. you make that sound because yeah. you're because you well for me right when I started singing I was brought up like with a, a I'm classically trained to put it that way and my teacher lives around the corner mm -hmm. so I've had a a forty year so I was a teenager she was in her thirties. I'm in my fifties now she's in her eighties and we're both mad as a box of frogs <laughs> but um. You know, if your teachers are sort of doing all this, oh, oh, ah, all that stuff, and then suddenly the 90s come along and they want you to hit them notes, but in a chest voice, and I thought, how the, how the hell do them Americans girls yeah. make that sound? Yeah. But once someone shows you, and you, and you trust, you yeah. have to trust yeah. 
that the gravity will mm -hmm. do it because your mind will tell you. Yeah, yeah, you your can't. mind says no, yeah. but you're, it, you've your got body. to let your body do yeah, it. Yeah, that's you? right. Yeah, it's the same as musical theatre. It's that note, that note, you know, that you're always like, oh, but you've just got to go, you've got to go above it. Yeah, you? yeah, you know, you've got to go, yeah. or, you know, like bearing down. Mm -hmm. And I, mm -hmm. I remember as a kid, Nettie used to say to me, now look at Tina and look at the Americans. And, and, and they were always doing that, higher, yeah. ha, higher. Nobody goes, ha, ha. Yeah. Everyone goes, down yeah, and, it's right and I think here. and I thought yeah because the knees are bent and I and the, anybody who's seen my interviews before I say the same thing if your body's relaxed when any of your skiing or whether you're going for an exam or whether you're having sex whatever <laughs> you're doing if your body's relaxed yeah. you'll be surprised what you can yeah. what you can achieve mm -hmm. and so you know that brings us back to the singing and and prepping and going out there and and doing it you you do have to pace yourself so that when you go on there you you just give it a hundred percent and at the end of it you are quite you're quite burnt out you're mm, quite tired mm, mm -hmm. and uh you must have seen it as well when people come off stage yeah oh definitely like, womp it's, yeah it, 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 it reminds me of that bit in 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 ghost when when the when patrick yeah, you, goes yeah, when in to see like, yeah see um demi Molly. moore one yeah, more time yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and 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 yeah and uh and it's, Whoopi it's goes, what it yeah. takes out of them yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. you're absolutely exhausted yeah. at the end well you of look it. good on it you look good on it whatever 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 your you know whether know, it's I... whether it's the vaseline <laughs> whether it's the <laughs> whether it's the, the the process whatever it is you look good on it angie you really do um what? and and some people online said to me as well they were like that woman has not aged. I was like, yes. so nice. So, you know, I've got the grey hairs. Uh, by the way, Robin S gave me this wig. <laughs> right? And it's like, she's a really good friend. And uh, obviously, I know lots of um, uh, other divas from the 90s. And, uh, you know, and. Well, we know each other through Isabel. Yeah. Don't we? And um, she had hits in the 80s. Was it the 80s? Started she, because she was on the soul scene. Yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah. She started, and but, she was singing, her voice was being used before she was even, it was even being said that it was her. That's wasn't right. It? She was singing for other people. But, um, so if you haven't seen the, the video with Isabel, you can check it out up here. Um, she's another diva. And, and I think, you know, some people say, oh, divas, divas are this, divas, divas are that. But I think that people like you and people like Patti LaBelle and people like Isabel, but divas, but I mean it in the most inspirational complimentary, and complimentary yeah. way. Because I think a diva is just a woman that can just go out there, entertain, entertain the people, you know. And people love you, Angie, people do. You know, um, you. I've had a lot of really positive messages about our interview, and especially the gay scene. Yeah. What you know, the LGBTQ community really took to you, Angie. How 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 did that happen? Do you think? Do you know, with the with the gay people, they know about the equivalent of racism. They just do. They got a heart. They got conscience. You know, you can be put down for being gay with all the religious connotations that might be in the bible or whatever but you know what you've got a good heart you just and that's why i'm not being funny but i like a gay priest or because it's about the love in the end mm. you can't just base your life on something that was written thousands of years ago because i because i do believe in god but i think that god's all right i yeah, think that he yeah. has a laugh yeah, do you know what i mean yeah. and i think that he would have changed for the times because or he or she or whatever the energy the god energy i just relate uh, re relate it to goodness mm -hmm. and love right mm -hmm. so just just trying to live your life with with the right thing the good thing it just it will give you it will give you boundless energy so to get back to your you, you, you know your question about the gay community i just think that they appreciate good artists and just because you're not in the top 10 they will still love you mm. you know not that i'm a i'm a gay lady i'm not but you know i call myself an honorary gay mm. lady and i think as well a lot of uh, some of it as well is that a lot of gay people like to have fun yeah they and do. you're all about fun angie you are <laughs> very much black people I ah! <laughs> I, I have i have stories from um i <laughs> Because when I put the picture out to say that Angie was going to be on Heart Talks, one of my friends in Glasgow said, I remember Angie when she came and did an appearance at Club X, which is this club that we used to work at in Glasgow. I've been down here 20 years, so it shows how many years ago it was. He said, and Angie was such a laugh. And, the noise. and then another friend said, 
I'm sure and I'm sure I went home um after an uh, uh, Angie came to do an appearance at our club and then afterwards I went home and she was asleep on our couch. Yes. Yeah. So. I can believe that because <laughs> I was Back in the day, laughing. yeah. When well, you were young, was you go out years, afterwards. Yeah, it was like you're like, yeah, okay. You go out partying. You know? Oh, we were in Scotland. Yeah, come on then. Let's yeah, go. yeah. You know, and so, just have a good time. Yeah. I mean, I, I I do think people in the house industry are like that because you don't really get the knives thing. Yeah. You don't really get the killing thing in the in the house the yeah. ha house people are like um the equivalent of a hippie you know yeah. the hippie yeah. thing so you get the love you get the, the yeah. and then if you and ever party go to a club the... where there's three floors yeah. and different genres yeah. of, you go into the drum and bass room it's like what yeah. what what yeah. Yeah. you go downstairs in the house room and everything's like yeah. that yeah. and i think you know that's really obvious that's uh, you know i think that if i just think that finding and singing house music represents me who i am as an individual as well as an artist yeah. so i'm very blessed to have found house music 30 years ago and and i'm blessed that i'm one of the the, the brit people mm -hmm. who could actually do it because yeah. sometimes i yeah. went to a gig yeah and yeah. it was all yeah. it, it was like, all the american oh. girls yeah yeah and it was jocelyn and mm -hmm. it was kimmy yeah. mazel yeah. and it was all and they were going ha mm -hmm. and you're my boo and i'm like Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not that I've ever been shy and retiring, but like I was saying to you much earlier on, if you you know where to, um, not I was going to say belt, but if you know where yeah. to, to actually do your, that crescendo, that kind of part of your body without using here and hurt damage in here. And yeah. It's, it, like the bearing down thing then then you know you can you, you find yourself hitting the notes that they hit and you, and they like girl. They, they don't, they, as a Brit, they can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They can't believe well, yeah, it. Yeah, we don't have it as much over here. You know, we don't have. The, there's not as many artists that were doing it or did it or you know. So you but are. But it's our speech though, because yeah, our speech yeah, is kind of here yeah, in the yeah, flow. It is, isn't it? It's a lot. An American. Ha! Ah, it's a lot more gut. Yeah. Than gut, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But once I was shown how to use it, well, you were like there was no stopping you. <laughs> no. So also, like in the last thirty years, you've become a mum. You've got yeah. some babies who are not babies anymore. Well, I um, had them late. I had them in my 40s, I must right, say. Because right. in Because um, I'm going to get you happened when I was 27. So I'm 57 now. So I spent the, the last bit of my 20s and 30s on the road. And then yeah. when I got to about 38, and I thought, you know, I'd get in. I was... Um, I, I had a little house in Penge, South London. And that was being rented out. And I... Stayed at home with my mum and dad because they were getting elderly. And then once my dad father passed away, um, you know, I was funnily enough, I was getting ready to move back into my house with mm -hmm. some with a couple of friends who we were renting. And I was going to have that that yeah. you know roommate girl moment because yeah. I never went to uni and all yeah. things like that. But then my mum, you know, because she was married to my father for fifty years, it was a bit harsh to leave her. Yeah. And then so me and my mum became. Uh, like roomies yeah. and she you know i'd get in from a gig in italy <laughs> and whether i'm gonna get you was really like pumping everywhere and then my mum wouldn't be there and i'm like get on the phone i was like mum where are you i'm playing dominoes with uncle webby or i'm i'm doing and, and i said no mum i don't mind but it's five in the morning and then she'd say <laughs> Yes, we play the bingo, then we play dominoes, and my mum's, <laughs> she'd clean them out and they'd play like 10 pence a game or whatever. And, she, and I'd go, yeah, but mum, I've just got in from the king, I've just got in from Heathrow and by myself in the house. <laughs> She'd be slamming down the dominoes in the background. I'm going, mum, are you listening? And I thought, you know what, Ange? She's got her life. Yeah. And she was still driving a little Nissan number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I thought, I, I, you know, I'm 38. I need to, I need to get married. And um, before online dating, yeah, it was called an introduction co com company. Right. And you paid a couple of grand, and I met <laughs> my ex-husband now. But um, <laughs> do you know, I think that I kind of, I, in hindsight, I kind of rushed it, and um, I, I, yeah, I did. I felt that the, the, I nearly said psychological, but it's. The biological clock ticking, mm -hmm. and yeah. I wanted. I knew that I wanted children, so I had Cuba when I was forty-one, right. and Charlie when I was forty-four. Gosh! And nobody at school, in the primary school, knew that I was forty-four in in, in Cuba's uh, and Charlie's years because uh, we did the voice. 
And when I did the voice, they put it in big letters. Is and that 2014? You yes. Voice? Yeah, yeah. They put 50, and I thought, N none of none of those people at school knew that I was 50 because they were going, hey, we're going to be celebrating the big 4-0. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you don't know that I've got 10 years it's, on them. It's right out there in public, isn't it? <laughs> on the voice. I don't hide my age anyway. Yeah. And I think also, you know, regarding looking young, if you, you know, I'm living the dream. I'm doing the job that I've always wanted to do. And I, and I am, you were talking about a diva. I don't, I don't want to be a pain in the ass. You know, I do fall out with people. Don't, don't get my back up, you know, or people who want to take liberties. But I, but I don't have a rider. Yeah. And I have a long list of, you've got to have marks and yeah, yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Two yeah, Androids yeah, puppies, yeah, yeah, green yeah, M&Ms. Yeah, yeah, do you know, it's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. You're there to work. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you're getting a month's wages yeah. for singing 15 minutes. Come on, why mm. would you be arsy about that? Yeah, exactly. You'd be, I feel really blessed. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, back in the day, I've done cleaning jobs. I've swept Yeah, yeah, we've all done those and, jobs, haven't we? Yeah, the, worked the, in the bakeries. Yeah, yeah and, in a bar, in a, yeah. Waitressing. Five pound an hour. Yeah, Waitressing's yeah. cool, though. Yeah. If you've got a personality, it's going stick all the money in my boobs. <laughs> So, yeah. So, not only having kids, Angie, but, and I remember, I saw you in 2000, I remember seeing you in 2013. Do you remember the Casbah down in Clapham? I was in the Casbah. That is that, Craig's yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, Craig yeah. Maritza. I love the Casbah. It's closed down now. But that was 2013. And there's something that I, I noticed you doing, Angie, and I think it's called scratching. Oh yeah, um, and, I, and it was the first oh, time I'd fl hot flush. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good, it's good. It, it was just... the first time I'd heard kind of that kind of scratching going on, and I was like, okay, this is something new. And then I heard you DJing, and I was like, ah, that's where it's. I kind of put two and two together and yeah. thought, that's You've where it's to coming from. Yourself, though, you? You know, yeah, if you exactly. sing, I'm gonna get you dad up, dad up, dad up, dad up every. You know, because uh, the, the we must... thirty years. <laughs> you know? Saturday nights is our Monday morning. Don't ever forget that regarding mm. um, um, people in the entertainment in the industry. industry. Yeah. And if you check it, it depends when your when your year starts. There's only thirty or twenty five Saturdays in the summer. Mm -hmm. It's done, and mm -hmm. in that twenty five weeks from May really through to September. September, yeah. You've got to do the weddings, you've got to do the, 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 the festivals, you're going to do the private events, you're going you've to do the do corporate pride. events. You've got so, to do, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you just, you just get, get on with it, Yeah. sing, do your thing and get out of there. Yeah. And so you don't, you just, you don't, you, you know, you, I don't have time to be, to be arsy because I call it squirreling. Mm -hmm. You've got to get that yeah, money yeah, in yeah, yeah. and put exactly. it away. You, so that when you, know, you, when you are, when you are going into, um, you know, after September when there's nothing yeah. happening, you've got some money in the bank. Exactly. Because yeah, you've got to yeah. wait till Christmas oh, comes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If we, and yeah, years, and then the work doesn't ago. start again uh, for a, for an actor anyway. It was like even January, February was dead. It's it wasn't until Easter. March, you know, that something st first started happening. So it would have been you know similar for you, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to pace yourself and think right financially. Pace yourself and think well, the work might dry up. Years ago, in the eighties, when I wasn't singing so much and the companies had money, mm -hmm. I noticed. <clears throat> some of the cheaper companies would have their their so-called Christmas party yeah, yeah. in November, and that would be the corp, you know, the big yeah, corporates yeah, yeah, yeah. who were having you know their their Christmas party in in November. Then you think, oh, I've got a gig in November, yeah. but, but and after um, that... yeah, and if you didn't have something for New Year's Eve, you were stuck. Yeah. So what I learned to do was make myself invaluable. So what happened was, again, I was, sorry, I digress. But the, <laughs> the, the, the scratching thing came from singing the da 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 yeah. every week. And, I, and, and someone said to me, you're as good as your last gig. And I thought, I'm going to make myself invaluable. I'm going to make people book me on the same day for this time yeah. next year. Yeah. So I started messing around. My dad, right, bless him, he had a stutter. Uh. <laughs> So, that... so, so I just copied dad because when dad wanted to, you know, like I'm from the 70s, kid from the 70s, we got beat, we got beat. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. my parents, you know, I've got to be honest, they're not cruel people. But when I did get beat, it was with the you hand or whatever. It, yeah. And my dad, what he used to do was threaten us, he never really yeah, hit us. Yeah. All right. Uh, but, you know, he'd, he'd, but he'd get stuck on the wind. He'd go, what? He's trying to say, hold out your hand. And he'd go, what? 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 <laughs> 
and then what me what me me what 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 a chance and we're like we could be strict we'd be laughing so much and then and even when he wanted to have a go uh, uh, you know, my mum and dad were chalk and cheese. My mum was really like bohemian and dad was really like quite straight legs. And he complained to my mum and said, and he wanted to say, Alma, you know, you're letting the children name me. But he'd get stuck on there. Uh, uh, <laughs> al, 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 al. And my mum said, Tuck it out, tuck it out. And, he, and she knew that he was stuck. So anyway, so what I was doing really was copying dad. And I thought, if you've got a piece of music and you keep repeating it, because when you watch DJs, scratching and i thought yeah i'm gonna do that so i started going what 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 said why 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 with someone go why what why what why what 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 and just really i'm not doing it properly because the people the people who scratch properly and can do the proper beatboxing they always like you will see the thumbs down <laughs> she ain't doing it properly but i'm not doing it properly i'm just doing it for some entertainment yeah, value fun so when I used to see DJs, they had that white line and they'd pull it back to that white line. So that's what I was doing. So I was going, what, 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 if people get entertained, because a lot of the time, even with the DJ, people take themselves so serious. No, I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. Life's too short. Yeah. I've got to have fun with it. And um, yeah, I'm a, I'm, you know, when I DJ, I, I'm handbag DJ. I'm playing mm -hmm. for the girls. Yeah. I'm playing. I am giant. Ba -ba -ba -ba, and yeah. I'm playing. Oh yeah! yeah. Let's put some little mix on. Woman like me. <laughs> I'm not trying to be cool. I've never. Try to cool down, pay my bills. Yeah. Being silly yeah. and being fun and, and upbeat an has always yeah. it's always worked for mm -hmm. me. And 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 I I will always pull on that. Yeah. I don't and and even when my career started, like in the in the early nineties it really took off for me. Like late eighties 89, nine uh, nineteen ninety. I used to go to the open mic places where I met Isabel. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people would get up and sing some song, a ballad. Now I'm a man. And they go, oh, 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 how long could you do that? And, oh, 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 and do all this stuff. And, and after 10 people had got up and done that, and there was people in the audience who were quite influential, like Durs O'Connor, Whitney Houston's band after they played Wembley. People would go there. Yeah. Right? I'm not getting up singing a ballad. I, I'm tuned into the audience. I yes. see their board. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to get up and sing R.E.M. Yeah. I'm going to sing got to Respect. See, you've got to work your audience, don't you? You yeah. have to work w with what you've got. I used to sing We Are Family and I'd get a yeah. standing ovation <laughs> from singing We Are Family. I mean, you know, I'd get up, did do did Respect. R.E.M. And doing all this, <laughs> you know, you know. Ooh, Giving them a show. Watch your, ooh, yeah. baby, there's a corner. <laughs> Give it that, that's right. And that's how I got... Bizarre Inc. in the first place because I went up there and I did you you look at your audience and you yeah. you they were bored you're not entertaining them unless you give them what they want it's yeah. not about you yeah so you know? so talking about that song with Bizarre Inc. um yeah. I it's so funny Angie because that was my club in days that it? was that was I, and and it was so funny because we used to be, all be out me and my friends and and everybody would know Da 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 It's a calling song, isn't it? Yeah, and then they wouldn't know they wouldn't know anymore until it got to um I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, yes I am. And it was like it was all these bits of the song, but it was just it was just an anthem that that was there that when I hear it now, all these years later, it just makes me go, Oh I mean I so see a little safety blanket. Yeah, it's a little it's just a reminder of good times with good people. Uh, you know, I was 21, you know, it was, yeah. I was a baby, you know, but it was, it was really good times. Angie now has a new tune out and it's um, a song called Higher and it is, it is a really, I love it Angie, it's a really yeah. pumping Angie Brown Elements sound, of rave and break classic, me. you know, it's just, it's such a great, it's a, it's a great song for a party. Um, so can you tell us a bit about the song? It's with Beyond Therapy and Echo Fly. Now Beyond Therapy is DJ Dougal. So those of you into tech house will know him. And um, and 
Ollie Jacobs is the other producer and he's worked with, he produced Leftism, which is Left Field's album, and Madonna and Prodigy. So hence, some of that Prodigy, that urgency, mm, da -da 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 -da, yeah, yeah. it's all in there. All there. So yeah. the track's got a lot of pedigree as far as the producer's concerned. Then I turned up in the studio and I heard it and I thought, I've got to write something heavy to go with it so the chorus is breathe life into me bring me higher love but it's nothing to do with politics or george floyd or anything like that because i wrote it a year and a half ago mm. and then so that was done at rollover studios and also ollie jacobs is also associated with um writing and producing mysterious girl for peter Andre. oh yeah, 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 yeah so he's got pedigree yeah then we've been signed on champion and now champion records have been 30 years in the dance business as well so they signed sandy b's um you make the world go yes, around the yes. and and robin essie's show me love they mm -hmm. so they've got a great pedigree as far as house music's concerned and it's just it it, it ticks all the boxes yeah it really does but it, the only thing is that that clubland's you know clubland is not open it's for not business open. it's not you, and it's sad i can imagine this being sung at pride next year you know which is going to be a mega celebration anyway get angie for pride next year well, Let, let's get let's get this um but it would going have been, online you know, you know like the kind of artist that i am i am a club artist and for me to have a hit it has to come organically through yeah. the clubs yeah. right and that, so we need Radio 1. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You need key radio station. Radio 1, Kiss, Capital Heart, whatever. But you, we're not we're not getting that because there's, you know, they would have had, the pressure would have been on because everyone in, the, it is a rave track. Mm. And the amount of messages that I got, people go, takes me right back to the 90s mm. or whatever. Mm. And it's, it, 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 people have got love in their hearts for 90s house. Yeah, yeah. They, it, it, it is a, sometimes a, I mean, a whole generation yes. of people that say, yeah, you know, sorry if I do a really <laughs> bad northern accent, <laughs> right? But my northern people who love house are like, oh, Angie, you know, I met my wife at a gig. And then the wife turns up in this shell suit as well. Yeah. And, then, and then we had Lenny, he's our son. And they bring the son on and you're like, what? <laughs> and, then, and then the son brings his girlfriend and he goes, yeah, I'm with Shelley and we've been together. And you're like, duh. All four of them are raving together. Yeah. You just don't get that in mm. any other genre of yeah. music. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. 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 You see, you get the 50 something, 60 something, raving with the 20 something. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's a joy. They must have got it so right. Yeah, there was something There was something in the m makings of it that was just, that that's kept it relevant. Well, because it was new, so you don't know what you're, you know, like, um, like how you can trade on gold, silver, whatever on the stock market with music you can't predict where it's going next you no, can't no so when you know bless them bizarring and i don't know alternate and all the little shades of rhythm all the 90s things when they were doing the mixtape and you know when i was saying my gig um who had an amstrad stereo because it's cassette to cassette recorded these boys yeah. were like oh we don't know yeah. yeah and the bootlegs were going around and they created this thing but you if someone t said to me Oh, 30 years later, I'm going to get you to still be on the radio. I would have I would have put £500 on it not being on the radio. Yeah. But it hasn't dated. Yeah. So there's something to be said about, and, and you know, and we know that of disco as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of disco, I will survive. A, a lot of ABBA mm -hmm. still sounds yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of music hasn't dated. But because a house was so just being thought of uh, uh, no and it was like a new way of singing what i've got to sing like jocelyn Brown. are you crazy mm -hmm. but it's still here do you know what i think it is as well though angie i think it is you talk about disco you talk about abba it's a commu it's community it's a as well as as well as as well as music it's it incorporates community and i think that is probably something that we're desperate for at the moment yeah 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 you know and it, it do you get what I mean? I you know, do. It's, and it's I think heart, house, I, house was a community. It's you know, heart led. You know, it's it heart -led. was really it was a community, and I think you know, as you say, generations after generations yeah. are still hanging on to those songs. Yeah. You know, um, and I still think it's it's that element of community. You because know, it's that, because but because it's organic. Yeah. Nobody said you know like when record pop com companies put a boy band together and it just doesn't work. But the organic, yes, that organic yes. sound, it was school 
boys or girls on a bus messing about. Well, I've made I've made a tape, Mon. I've made a tape, <laughs> and, and we're going to challenge each other. And you know, and that's where garage music came from. Exactly. The good stuff that was done in the garage, wasn't it? Exactly. You know, that's where it got and the, the house. name from. Exactly. Yeah, house music. It's like it was made in your in your granny's, but you know, that's right. You know, kitchen. You and know. you 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 get the records printed up and yeah, and press printed, so, pressed so, up, so and you take them it? to the individual yeah. record shops, record even in. Bricks and they had yeah. red records in yeah. Soho. They had Nikki Black Market. You had Woolies, mm -hmm. Al Price, yeah. HMV, who's yeah. just gone. You Tower. had um, Tower. You yeah. had Virgin, Virgin, as Virgin well. Megastore, yeah. HMV. All yeah. yeah, and 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 it, nothing. Oh, my hairs are going up thinking yeah. about it. Yeah, because you go into Woolworths. There was under the B section was the Bazaar Inc. What? And then, or you might hear it out of people's cars, and yeah. you. And you think, oh my God, they're yeah. playing it. I'm on the radio. Yeah. And then when it was on top of the pops, well, my mum was, <laughs> <laughs> my daughter is on the telly. She is on top of the pops. And the phone would ring all the time. And my aunts and my cousins and wonderful friends would just support and yeah. that, you know, and it, it it's great times. Community. Great. Yeah, the community. community. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I've got some Brixton cousins. They still put it on every Christmas and dance. <laughs> I'm like, like, you know, my cousin Celia, she's like, she's going, hey, cuz, I love that tune yeah. and I love you. So we put it on and we don't, and you're like, really? Do you like, yeah, they do. But so. well, it's funny because I, I, I downloaded uh, Angie's new song, Higher, the other day and I put it on as I was putting my Christmas tree up. And you know that Christmas tree went up like that. It was so easy to put <laughs> up because I was just dancing away, having a great time to myself, thinking, "Yeah, this is this 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 brings back something for me, That's definitely." So yeah. Because I think it's been tough not having. Mm. Do you know? I felt like I'm going bananas at times, and I, I know people, other people in the industry, in the club industry, who DJ hospitality. We oh. have. So suffered because some people have gone back to work but it's like the people who provide the joy we're not yeah. allowed to go but I that it's done my you the know the entertainment you, industry has just you've stopped, got all that it? adrenaline yeah. all the all the serendipity it's just going mad in here and I think the thing for people like you and me do you know despite Covid the creativity doesn't stop that's the thing, it's still there. Yeah, and you see up. Angie online, you know, Angie's <laughs> Angie's got a Facebook and we'll, we'll, I'll put all the links in. But you know, Angie does this brilliant um, character. character called Izzy Ting. Um, <laughs> and I just I just sit here, I just sit here in bed watching Izzy Ting and I just laugh because I'm just like, Angie's like that. It's just, it's just this alter ego, isn't it, it is, of Angie, it you know? And it's just, and yeah, it's, the creativity doesn't stop and and Angie you're a prime example oh, of that in, in, in all the things that you do thank you, know, you you really are but I think Stephen in the face of adversity you know when you think oh my back's against the wall here and I don't know where I'm going just create something yeah. put the wig on put the high heels on till funny and if you if you barely laugh then that's medicine that's the remedy to a lot of things and yeah. me singing songs that I'm not what well, people wouldn't associate with me, like um, one of the songs that Izzy does, she sings in French, she does uh, the Pierre oh, the Pierre Quand il me prend dans ses bras, il m'appelle le tout bas, je vois la vie en haut. I have to laugh, and even yeah. I look back at it, and I laugh at myself. Yeah, yeah. Well, now I'm to, to end this interview, I'm going to put Hire on. Me yeah. and Angie are just going to have a little dance here. Where is Hire? Um, I, I downloaded it off iTunes, but is it available on other platforms? Yeah, it's on, I think it's on Track Source, Beat, Port, um, and I don't really know much more about it. I know that it's doing really well. It's in the buzz charts, the very, very first one when the DJs are talking about it. It went straight in at number one. And then I don't, then I had that moment of oh my god you could write a song you know you could write your New York New York or your um, you know I will survive that you know because every artist wants to write a song like that because it's a little mm. nest egg yeah you know because because we I think the people that are not signed to a major label actually even major labels kind of take too mm, much yeah and and the artists can have a hit and we think oh they're super rich but they're not because yeah. the you know, you got to pay taxes. Yeah, yeah. The record company is going to take 
take back some of the recoupable money, money yeah, that it, yeah. it's earned because the, the it's like a bridging loan mm -hmm. really because you're saying oh if i sign here will you pay for my video will you yeah. pay for my gigs trips All around the world it, it? tour manager yeah. and yeah. people will think well you're at number one so you've got money but you haven't you haven't because you owe so much to the to the label so yeah. it's like paying back with the interest so really for me when with higher it just felt right you wrote it angie so you've got two pies now mm -hmm. you're the artist and you're the writer and yeah. it just it, it does feel like it could be that nice little nest egg because i've got it in my head yeah when I go to the nursing home and I'm old, I've got two gay boys, one's black and one's white. <laughs> and they've got to give me my blanket bath every day. Oh, look at them both! <laughs> I've got it all in my head. Oh, I've got it all in my head. And, they, and they, they won't have an agenda because they're not, they're not into women. No, right? exactly. So I'm just like, oh, can you do that in the nether regions again? <laughs> And I'd go, there's oh. a lovely flannel, get the dettol. <laughs> get the dettol, Gary. <laughs> I've got it all planned in my head. So, oh, so you I'm have, gonna, Angie, you so really I'm, have. I'm going to need some money. Yeah, yeah, exactly, to pay those boys. In, yeah, in yeah, case you don't, them, you, yeah. don't, you don't know. Sorry, I don't want to bitch about the music business as well. Yeah, but, but you don't, do you? It's... it's us who were signed to a small label didn't get any money. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just not, not me, but Alison Limerick, Rosala, we've all been... Yeah. Once the, the money started oh. coming in, and remember, records were really selling back then. You'd sell. Because yeah. you can get to number one with 10,000. You can right. get to sales. But back then, you needed 50,000 right. for, for Woolworths to stock it. So when, basically, I'm going to get this probably sold about 3 million sales around the world and that's not the airplay and that's no. not how many compilation albums and it's been on and that it, you know it just sold it's been in the american top 10 twice it went out and went back in because americans absolutely adore it and anybody anywhere you can sing it to them they know it but you know saying that the labels did get the money in and and a lot of them just liquidated and we the artists never saw any of that yeah yeah you hear so, that a lot yeah you hear that a lot well angie thank you it's been so much fun having you here i've really enjoyed it do you want to be one of my little nurses i was you? gonna say i was <laughs> gonna say you can have three little nurses although angie I'm, oh, a, I'm, sorting I'm, out my never I'm, I'm, I'm only seven years behind you so oh, i'll yeah. probably be in the room next door i'll oh, be like angie angie i think i think giving you a wash <laughs> Yeah, Gary and Barry! <laughs> I'll be like that, send them through to me! Do you know, are you really only seven years younger than me? Yeah. You look good. Yeah. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. But you've got a bit of the old, like, little bit of the old blackie, oh, innit? Oh, Puerto Rican, yeah, yeah. it, you know, ah! so... Yeah, yeah you, but you, when you smile, you ain't got no... Yeah, so... It's lovely. So it's you've got a baby Rican, face as well. Anyway. Rican. Right, let's put that song on. Okay, Angie, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Please mm. like, share, comment and subscribe oh, on this video. Um, tell them to subscribe to Heart Talks. I'm yeah, saying, I you, think, know. you know what? I thought it was hard to subscribe, but you don't. You just press the button, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Right. Doesn't uh, cost anything, doesn't... doesn't because I'm going to subscribe nothing. now. I'm going to subscribe. I should great. do that. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, Angie, for coming on. And uh, I'm now going to play it higher. And um, we're going to have a little dance, aren't we? Yeah, Angie? big fish, small fish, yeah. cardboard box. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> It's just, <laughs> that beat is just brilliant. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching Heart Talks. We will see you later. Bye. Take thank care. you for having me. I hope I wasn't too over the top. <laughs> Not at all. Bye, everybody.